Hello friends, today we are going to see how to reverse nodes in a linked list in a group of size equal to k. We also call it as swapping of nodes in the linked list. So let's see what does this mean. So here is the linked list and the number of nodes in this linked list are 12. So this is the original linked list and when k is equal to 3, we have to divide this linked list in groups of 3 nodes each. So let's divide. So these are the first 3 nodes, then these 3, then these 3 and the last 3 nodes. So let's see what will be the answer when we reverse these nodes. So ABC will become CBA. DEF will become FED, GHI will become IHG and JKL will become LKJ. So now if K is equal to 4, obviously we have to group the original linked list in 4 nodes each. So 4, then these 4 and the last four nodes. So let's reverse the nodes in these groups. So A, B, C, D will become D, C, B, A. Then E, F, G, H will become H, G, F, E. And I, J, K, L will become L, K, J, I. And the last node will be the last node will point to null. So let's see how do we do this. Means for writing the program for reversing the nodes in groups, what are the steps that we need to follow? So let's see. So this is the same example as this example. I will tell you all the steps by executing on this example. So let's see. If k is equal to 3, then we will first reach to the third node in this linked list. So, the answer for converting this linked list in the reversed linked list is this. So, by referring this answer, we will find out what steps we need to follow. See. So the starting node of the reversed linked list is CBA. So the starting node is C. So the third node in the original linked list is C. Now from this we can conclude that the kth node in the original linked list is always the starting node of the new linked list which is formed after reversing the groups. That is our answer. So this means the kth node in the original linked list is the starting node in our answer. So if k is equal to 4, then d will be the starting node of the answer. That is the new linked list. So, so this is our new start of the answer. So after we reach to C, now after C, it uh, there is B and B points to A. This means we have reversed the group. So C, B, A. So if we change the pointer of C to point to B and the pointer of B to point to A. So we will change these pointers. So we have reversed the pointers. But there is a problem now. So what is that problem? Here, <clears throat> when we changed this link to point to B, we deleted this link and now this link points to B, we lost the address of D. Now we cannot trace D because our pointer has changed. So for this, before we change the pointers, before we change these pointers, 
we have to store the address of d in temporary variable so i will store the address of d in temp variable and now i am allowed to change the pointers now i can change the pointer so this is how this works this is the first point you have to store the address of k plus 1th element means the next element means the first element of the next group so so this is important this so this is important because whenever we are reversing the so so this is important we have to store the address of d in a temporary variable so in general we can say that we have to store the address of the first element of the next group in a temporary variable see this is our first group and this is the this is the next group and d is the first element of this group so the first element of the next group so let's do it now so we have reversed the pointers now see the answer a points to f this means a points to the last element of the next group so this is very simple now a's pointer will point to the last element of the next group so this pointer will delete and now this pointer points to f now let's go to the next group so we have completed the reversal of the first group that is c b a and a points to f now let's go to the next group that is d e f and we will now reverse the pointers so now temp will point to the first element of the next group so this is the first element of the next group so let's do it now so as temporary variable points to g we can delete this link and f can point to e and we will make e to point to d and d's next pointer will point to the last element in the next group this is the last element in the next group so let's go ahead now temp will point to j this is the group and now we will reverse the pointers this pointer will point here and g will point to the last element in the next group and again now temp will be null and this will be pointing to k then this will point to j and j will point to temp that is null so this is the breaking condition in the last group in the last group we encounter so how do we come to know that this is the last group we come to know that when our temp becomes null so then the first element of this group will point to temp because this is the last group so this is how we convert or we reverse the nodes in the uh, linked list Uh, in groups so now let's go when k is equal to 4 so the groups are these groups four elements and four elements so now this is very easy so let's do it so first temp will store address of e and we will reverse the pointers here and then 
and a will point to the last element of the next group so a will point to h i will make it clear a will point to h now temp will point to i and these links will be reversed so i'll delete these links links are reversed and e will point to the last element in the next group and now they will be reversed all the pointers and this will point to null that is uh, temp is pointing to null in the last iteration and the last group's first element will point to temp because this is the last group the first element of the last group will point to temp which is null so this is how we reverse the nodes in groups so observe one thing the number of elements are 12 in this linked list and k is equal to 3 and 4 so because k is equal to 3 and 4 and they are they are dividing 12 12 is a multiple of 3 and 4 which is why we are finding groups here so all the elements are in groups because 12 is multiple of 3 and 4 but in this linked list there are 11 elements so obviously if k is equal to 4 only two groups can be formed and the last group will have only three elements yes only three elements so in this case we have to write all the three elements as it is so i will tell you what to do in this case so let's execute the algorithm first temp will store the address of e and let's reverse the pointers of this group this will point to d this will point to a and the first element of this group will point to the last element of the next group then yes so now temp will go to the first element of the next group and uh, as i have deleted this pointer now this pointer will point to g then this will point to f and this will point to e and e will point to the last element of the next group as our algorithm says but now as in the last group the number of elements are not equal to 4 means the number of elements are not equal to k they are less than k number of elements are less than k in this case the first element of this group will point to temp as i told you in this case also and in this case also so the last group in the last group the first element will point to temp so in this case the answer will be d c b a h g f e and then it will be simply i j k we will not reverse the last group because it is of three elements so while k is four and three is less than k so it doesn't form the group of four elements so we don't reverse it and the last node will be connected to null so this is how we reverse the elements uh, of a linked list in groups and friends you can get the full code on this link that is github.com slash vivekanand44 and soon i will post a video explaining the code hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you